Okay, this is a 07 Honda Accord 3 liter. Uh, this is a no start, and in this video, I'm just going to go over a couple key testing methods. Uh, we're going to use the Altel Maxi Sys Elite, Altel IM508 with the XP400, and we're also going to use the Pico Scope with the high frequency uh, key tool, which is going to be T Apple 330. So first off we have a key light is flashing, which means there is an issue with the immobilizer system. Uh, if we go into the PCM, we can see the immobilizer pid with a ban. That means there's a ban on the immobilizer system. Uh, it will not start. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our immobilizer module and I'm going to look at some data. We're going to go into special function. Uh, we want to check the status log. We can go to system check. We'll do that first, just to show you. Immobilizer system is not normal. And we have A3 system check number. That should be in our status log. Turn the ignition switch off, turn on, there is our A3 status log with a value of 58. Uh, status log A3, if you look this up in service information, should be missing key information. That's all they tell you, I believe. So we're going to exit out of here and we're going to check the key using the XP400. Okay, we have the Altel IM508. We're going to check the key now. Let's click on key. I'm going to put the key in. XP400, key read and write. Automatic detection. So we have a chip communication failed, so this key is not working. However, I'm going to show you one more test with the oscilloscope. Alright, so this is the TA330 uh, key frequency tool from the PicoScope. Normally you want to place this right where the immobilizer high frequency antenna is, at the end of the tumbler near the key, and you want to cycle the key on. So let's take a look at the data that I already pulled up. And these are going to be our data packets, typically on a manufacturer where the immobilizer module is receiving the key data, you will have one data packet. Uh, data packets are in blue on the scope, so we have three data packets. Typically when an immobilizer module cannot communicate or receive the uh, data from a key, you will see multiple packets like we see here. We have three. This is an attempt to try to read the key uh, one more time, being it cannot read the key. Uh, we also have a frequency in black, and I know Hondas typically will have 124 kilohertz up to about 144, which we have here. Uh, so this tells us that the vehicle is making an attempt uh, to read the key, but it cannot. This is pretty helpful in those situations where you possibly have a bad key, but may maybe a broken antenna, possibly an issue with the immobilizer module, or just something in the system. This is a quick and easy test, uh, very accurate, and I do like this test a lot.